Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with Joel Trull, of course, this character, and today we're going up against Necrostevo. So, I'd like to encourage you guys to check this guy out on YouTube, I'm going to leave him in a link down below. He's one of those really good guys, a lot of good metagame thoughts, and just basically good commentary. Really like this guy, uh, we've been talking about battling for quite some time. Sadly, we do battle in the Lithium region, which means that we are not that goofy. We are very serious this battle, and I'm just gonna say straight off the bat, my two OU Pokemons that I had to write all the rules for Lithium is two OU and uh, the four of the rest of the tier you really want. And my two OU Pokemon did not work for this battle. Um, they were obviously not in rightly made, and sadly I had to switch them out for Hyperion Helisk. But it won't matter as much this battle anyway, so it, it, it's okay. Uh, looking for hits team here, we got Skarmory, Talonflame, Mamoswine, Rotomore, Blastoise, and Pangoro. I myself am using a Blastoise, Rhyperion Hill, like I said there, Florius, Murkrow, and Arcanine. And just looking for my opponent's team here, I know exactly which Pokemon that are the potential sweepers. And really, Talonflame is super, super annoying to deal with. I don't have any Pokemon that can kind of come in on it. And um, I have nothing to fend off Mamoswine either. And that's really bad, like that is something that's going to be quite annoying to deal with um, and uh, yeah, I really need to fend this guy off as properly as I can obviously I don't have the power to defeat him so I need to be walling him to get momentum through the switchings and that is basically what I'm gonna do so with all this in mind guys, of course let's go so from the start here, I really knew that he had no Pokemon that really gonna appreciate Mega Blastoise so I really just wanted that Mega Evolution straight off the bat. He's gonna lead off with his Pangoro, you know, that's not bad, that's really not bad, but at the same time, I know I can outspeed, I do pack the more or less move that is the Aura Sphere, and I was in no position really to predict anything else. I obviously Rotom's gonna come in, but yeah, felt, you know, really good here, and decided to go for that Mega Evolution, like I said there, and the Aura Sphere is gonna come in, and it's not gonna do a whole lot, you know, I won't lie here, it's obviously not packing enough damage. And, um, yeah, actually it does a fair amount of damage, I'll take that back. But anyway, I see a Leaf Storm or a Fire will be in the comments, I'm going to go to Saladin, and I was really hoping for a full switch, I really were, but it's going to go for Leaf Storm, and from this damage, I was really thinking he was, um, he was uh, Specs, but I just missed that kind of um, special defense investment, so he's actually Scarfed, and that's really bad because I lose my heal is really badly here and um, that is not a great turn off for the last for a star off. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Boomhauer yet again. And I know I can take a leaf song for this range, and he's not going to risk going for a leaf song because obviously it's no no special attack is left there. So he's gonna go to his Pangoro and uh, I went for a skull predicting switch out to whatever really. I knew the skull could do a fair amount of damage on whatever. Plus I have I have the chance of scoring a burn. Which I'll do, and due to my investment in speed, I will be able to, of course, I speed as Pangoro with the Aura Sphere and finish it off. So we are 5 for 5 right now, and that's that's great. As of right now, I felt good about it. I have yet to deal with the Talonflame and Mamoswine, but I knew that I could deal with Mamoswine with my Blastoise 101. So it's gonna go back to the Rotom, and I decide now to actually switch out to my Flordius, which probably was should have been the play I should have done from the beginning because. There is no damage happening there, and I, like I said, I should have really thought about that. Florida is such an excellent wall, and sadly, I guess I should say, uh, I do pack the red card instead because I wanted to switch out the items, so I didn't have two Pokemon with leftovers. And Jim, yeah, he's getting a free evolution for his Mega Blastoise. And what's even worse is that he, of course, will go for Water Pulse, which I don't like as much because of the only 20% chance of confusion. Boo! What do you know? Of course, of course, I get confused tags and I hit myself with confusion. And that's really bad because I decided to go for a wish. I want to wish pass or stall him out no matter what case. So anyway, I decided that since I do have protect and wish that I can go for at least for another try, but he's gonna get a crit there and uh, Floyd is gonna go down. And uh, yeah, I mean, fuck my life. What a, what a rough end there. So anyway, due to my investment in speed, I knew I can be able to outspeed him. Gonna go for Dark Pulse, hoping for a flinch. Um, and due to him being invested in special defense instead, he is actually going to be in a range where he can 2-hit KO me. He's close at least to doing so, but decided to kind of risk that and decided to keep going for Dark Pulse. He was obviously predicting a switch out there, but 
I was in no posi position of um, doing a gamble there. And um, yeah, I'm actually gonna take the Skarmory out. So, like I said, it's a very, very straightforward game as of right now. We actually don't have the brawn to wall each other's offensively Pokemon oriented, which makes for it kinda good. I, I like it. So, anyway, now the Rotom can come in, and now I have no special defense wall left. And the, yeah, that, that that's awful. So I'm going to go to Celto. Celto is an um, Arcanine with um, Snarl instead of... Uh, um, oh, it's not. It's especially oriented with Snarl as its uh, offensive move just to um, shut down Pokemon. And uh, I kind of figured it wasn't the best move on it, but hey, at least I try. But anyway, it's going to go to Hint's... Um, what is it? Hawk Fever. And uh, Snarl is not going to do a whole lot here, I, I'm obviously not invested, but at the same time that thing, that beast, that monster is just too much, it's just too much for me. And I'm going to decide to switch out to my Gryfer, Greif, uh, which is the um, Mandibus, is only defensive with a heavy amount of HP, and it is probably the only response I have for both the Talonflame and the Mammoth one actually. So I'm taking that Brave Bird very well. And I gotta go for foul play because I know it has nothing that really can come in on that. And looking through that damage, I know that I can go for stealth rocks and that thing is dead. Uh, so Mammoth Point is gonna come in, and due to the damage I do here, I decide to stay in because I know I can two hit KO it from this range, and that is a risk I am willing to take. Just gonna go for the Icicle Crash, of course, the landing it like a boss, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get flinched here. And uh, yeah. That's that's really bad, and sadly here I do switch out because I do predict the ice shot, and um, I was so predicting him to switch out here because I do shut him down of course with intimidation. Uh, but I guess he's feeling that he doesn't have a real use of Mammoth Swine as of right now before getting a Stealth Rocks, so I just decided to go for a Snarl yet again actually, only to uh, of course um, shut down Blastoise, which I thought would come in. But uh, Sally just in here, I would have been much better off with Flamethrower, but at the same time, there is not a big chance that Flamethrower would have taken out this Mammoth Swan anyway, really. But anyway, <laughs> I do decide after this, of course, go for Flamethrower, he's gonna stay in and take, trying to take this, of course, and uh, no dice, no dice. So the Mammoth Swan is gonna fall, and um, Stealthrock is now up, which means that my Gryfer is dead, there is no way I can deal with that, and... Um, the other annoying situation we have here and is that uh, the Blastoise is very well intact on a model HP. So I decided to go for a Snarl because I need to at least whittle down his special attack so he doesn't defeat my Blastoise 101. And I was really banking on him kinda not going for the Whirlpools because of uh, the resistance I have in my team besides of Rhyperior. And um, I should probably go for Gryfer, second it, I know that, but at the same time, like I said, I knew I couldn't really win against this thing 101 because of the Stealth Frog, so I decided to actually go for a Dark Pulse here. As always, hoping for a flinch, I know, not the best strategy, and it does live with a Slither of Health and Carry Retaliate, but due to Snarl, I am able to live, and uh, yeah, honestly, I never saw that, I never saw that coming, I never saw that one coming. So I was really glad that happened, we still have the issue of the Rotom, which can outspeed the rest of my team, and I am basically have to hope for him to... Um, Misses Leaf Storm. So anyway, Talonflame is going to come in. I have nothing for it. I died to Stealth Rock because I switched out, so I just have to sack this guy. And um, the thing I'm going to do now is bring Rhyperior, which is a yet to enter. And sadly, I guess you should say, is the Pokemon that I the least wanted to take on in this battle. And I don't know what went through my mind here. Um, he decided to go for Flare Blitz for some reason. Um, you know, I'm fine with that. I really am. I decided to go for Stealth Rock for some reason. And I say for some reason, because I, I might as well go for the Rock Blast, because he only got two pokes left, so do I, but my Griper, like I said, are dead on the switching. So we are going to bank on that the Leaf Storm miss. And that is not the most solid strategy, I'll give you guys that. And Jim, it's gonna take another Flare Blitz, obviously it's not gonna do a whole lot, that is a crit. Rhyperior is dealing with it, Talonflame has no power whatsoever against a Pokemon like this. And it's gonna fall. I'm glad to know in that Talonflame was not an issue for me this battle. But alas, people, we are still in the matchup there. Sadly, <laughs> I really have to say sadly here. 
that is the Rotom, and uh, since the Stealth Rock is up, obviously my uh, Mana Bus is not going to be able to kind of come in, so Leafstone's going to come, he's going to land it, and uh, yeah, Rod Pure will fall. And yeah, that's actually a 1-0 win in uh, my opponent's favor. And uh, really now, I'm going to be completely honest, like I said in the beginning, Necro Steve is a very, very good person in general, and a very, very good battler, so I didn't really mind losing that much. I mean, I felt that we were very even out. Surprisingly, as you say, it was more even than I thought we ever were. Consider that, like I said, my two sweepers that I really wanted to use was, well, sadly not able to comprehend or be a part of this battle. And as a result of that, um, I couldn't use them. And um, I still have one great. Like I said, I did play very, very defensively, and uh, it's not really a um, suggestive mood I will. You know, say it's worth doing, and uh, Necrosy was definitely overall the superior battler. So yeah, a small update really, that um, while I do lose my first Lithio match, I do win my second one, and so did Steve-O, a work mentioning really, and uh, I'm basically waiting for a third one, and uh, the two Pokemon that couldn't enter that I wanted to use was Secure in Black, and um, actually Landorus, the incarnate form, or you know, no, the genie form basically. So those were the two I didn't use this battle and um, I'll say like this, like they would have made a rather good change to the team but at the same time uh, you know my opponent is still a very good battler, he's very very capable of uh, dealing with me no matter how I really puts it. While I do have some momentum from this battle I still believe my opponent played a less superior game and he was honestly the better player and I was very glad to actually got the chance to challenge Steve-O. Um, it's been some time I got to know him in any way. I mean, I've known this, that guy for one, I think roughly one year, so finally, finally had a battle. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching for as always. Make sure to leave a like and if you're new to the channel, you know, subscribe. <laughs> and remember, the sky's limit and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.